Have you seen a movie where the children torture their mother as enemy? Hi guys, it's me again. Communication is a good medicine. Only when there is communication, the distance between people and people is filled. The distance between a heart and a heart will narrow. Elias and Lucas are nine-year-old twins. These two children are very close. They do whatever they do together. The two children regularly swim in the lake in front of the house. Recently their mother was hospitalized for surgery. Only two brothers obediently stayed at home waiting for their mother to come home. Not long after, the moment the two children had been waiting for finally arrived. Their mother has returned, but her face is covered with gauze because she had just undergone plastic surgery. Two children who saw the strange appearance of their mother felt a little strange. They couldn't even see their mother's face clearly. The mother now wanted to embrace her two children. But when she saw that their bodies were covered with sand, she reminded them to take a shower first. Many days without meeting that, but an intimate gesture does not exist. This made Lucas feel a bit disappointed. After dinner, the mother made them some juice. But she only gave it to Elias. He reminded his mother not to forget to give juice for his brother. But his mother did not even answer. Even when he said that he was thirsty and wanted more, his mother said nothing. Elias had to give Lucas his juice. His mother was not originally such a cold person. She deeply loved his two brothers. But now for some reason, the mother often favored Elias more and ignored Lucas. Then the mother also forced the two brothers to follow three rules. Do not bother her to rest. Do not make noise indoors. Even without mentioning Lucas's name. This makes Elias unacceptable. He was about to contradict his mother when his mother was making an even stricter rule. She did not allow Elias and Lucas to have any contact. But even so, Elias is still the same. He is often accompanied by his brother like a shadow. Before sleeping, the two will listen to the blue song their mother had recorded earlier. That warm sound was indeed far from the strict current mother. Gradually Elias came up with the thought that the woman in the house was not his mother. She must have been replaced by someone when she had surgery. The kids really can't guess who the face behind the bandages. This thought haunted the two brothers for a long time. So the two children decided to investigate this clearly to see if their mother were real or fake. By the time their mother was away, they opened the old photo album and found out that their parents' wedding photo had disappeared. Only pictures of their mother left. Lucas assumed their mother was hiding something. So he started looking for related information online when he found out that their house was being delivered for sale. This made the two brothers even more certain that this woman who looked a lot like their mother was actually an evil con man. Even she wants to rob the house they are in now. After a while, the wildcat raised by Elias suddenly disappeared. The brothers had to search for a long time to find its body. Elias judged that the fake mother did this. So they soaked the cat's body in a glass bath and intentionally placed it in the living room for their mother to see. Unexpectedly, this made the mother feel extremely angry. The mother and son inevitably have disputes. Elias said she was not his mother. This makes the mother feel extremely angry. She dragged him to the room to beat. It was only for her to make him admit she was his mother. She even once again emphasized that Elias was not allowed to communicate with Lucas. After that, the two brothers' hearts were severely damaged. Elias turned her face to the wall and cried for a long time. He assumed that the woman in the house was definitely not his mother. The brothers were about to go out to call for help, but their mother locked them in the room. Because in order to avoid the mother breaking into the bedroom separating the two, they just had to take turns guarding. After a while their mother finally opened the door. This time she completely removed all the bandages. This is actually the face of their mother. But Lucas still did not believe that the person in front of him was his mother. He pushed her away and rushed out to find someone to help. The two children go to church and look for the pastor to help. But he just brought them home. Because to prevent the brothers from running away again, the mother locked them in the room. At midnight the two brothers escaped and tied their mother to the bed. Elias starts to question who she is. The mother, confused, asserted she was their mother. Originally the two brothers intended to trust, but accidentally discovered that the color of their mother's eyes before the surgery was clearly green. Now turn into blue. Skepticism erupted again. The mother patiently explained to them that she was wearing lenses at that time. Therefore, there is a change in eye color. Very quickly Elias found the bathroom with his mother's lens box. Prove his mother told the truth. He originally intended to release her, but unexpectedly he discovered that the mole on his mother's face was fake. This time Elias once again lost faith in his mother. No matter how she explained it, he still couldn't accept it. He started torturing his mother. They questioned where their real mother was after all. 
This woman did not know how to answer these questions. The two brothers had no way to get the mother to tell the truth. They covered their mother's mouth with tape and left. At this moment two Red Cross staff members came to donate. The mother heard the sounds from outside and immediately struggled for help. The brothers took the money to give them to leave. Now the mother opened the tape, she screamed for help. But they went too far, inaudible. After hearing their mother's screams, the brothers used glue to stick to their mother's mouth. Only when the two of them were preparing to feed her a meal did they find they couldn't open her mouth. They can only cut layers of glue with scissors. Elias accidentally deflected his hand, injuring her mouth. In a moment the bleeding did not stop. But the two brothers were still the same, and did not let go of their mother. But they kept asking where their real mother was after all. Whenever they don't get the answer they want, they start torturing their mother. The mother basically has no chance of proving her identity. Even the song they liked the most, she got the wrong answer. The erroneous expressions made Lucas feel even more disappointed. He believed that this woman must have hidden their mother. This time the mother pretended to go to the toilet, and took the opportunity to run away. But she was trapped by Elias. This time he didn't want to spare her anymore, but wanted to burn her to death. The suffering mother kept begging them to put down the candle in their hand. She said Lucas's death has nothing to do with her. Now the great secret is revealed. It turned out that Lucas soon drowned while swimming. Because the brotherly affection was so deep that Elias couldn't accept this. He thinks his brother's death is related to him. So he always imagined his brother was by his side. And the mother ignores her son's feelings. Actually she and her husband are having a dispute. She is also under severe stress. Moreover, she was bandaged for a long time. Her personality also changed. That's why she doesn't have any patience towards Elias. The mother forced him not to speak to Lucas. She forgot to care about her son's true feelings. The mother and son were like that, but fell into a tragic situation like today. Elias in the end does not listen to his mother's advice. He decided to use a lighter to burn their house. The mother died on fire before the firefighters arrived. And Elias's fate is not clear. The movie is over here. This movie, Good Night Mommy, was released in 2014. Mainly refers to the problem of limited communication between mother and child, leading to a serious misunderstanding between mother and child and then tragedy. In fact, the mother in the movie is actually a bit extreme and selfish. Because she was under so much pressure that spread these extremes on her son. She even sank into a negative state for a long time, neglecting to settle the problems in the heart of her son. So parents should pay attention to their child's feelings to avoid a tragedy like this. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.